Um, I just got uh, Riggs Mechanized Combat League. Figured I'd give it a shot. It looked really fun from the demos and everything. Um, I am a little sick, so bear with me, and I have a kitten on my lap. So she's probably going to make this a lot harder for me. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. I love mechs. I mean, I'm a big man. I'm big into Mech Warrior and Battle Tech. Um, but I would love to see them make a game for this. I just don't know what's gonna happen. If it's gonna happen. This game does make me sick a little, so we'll see how long I can play. Now, I just loaded the game up literally. Come on, Come on, kitten, you gotta get up. Come on. I don't want to see back on the TV. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to reset the uh, volume in a minute. The background noise and everything. Man, yeah, I ain't no kitten. You're being a baby. Yeah, I know. I know. What? Thank you. I'm sorry I made you get up. <laughs> Alright, hold on a Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. I, I get it. Hold on a minute. Dang it. Come on, come on. Come on. There we go, sorry. Okay. Ow, that's loud. Welcome back, kitten. <laughs> yeah, baby girl, I know. She's jealous of the headset. She doesn't like the VR stuff, apparently. Um, do I want the tutorial? I know how to play the game. <clears throat> Sure, let's try it.
Yeah, man. <laughs> Silly girl. Hey, welcome to the team. One second and I'll be right with you. Thanks for waiting. This guy is one of our biometric scanners. He's just going to record some data to complete your profile. I've been looking at your stats. Your last season as a semi-pro was outstanding, but this is the big league. Time to really show what you can do. I'm your chief engineer. Uh, chief, for short. The team and I will maintain your rigs at optimal performance. Run training exercises, provide tactical information during a match. Everything you need to be a winner. First, there are some formalities we need to go through to bring you up to speed. We've prepped a test rig, so we can set it up just how you like it. Sound good? Let's get started then. The pinnacle of Exo Engineering. It's tougher, faster, and a whole lot meaner than the hardware you're used to. This is a Hunter-class chassis. She might seem small compared with other rig types you'll encounter, but she's got it where it counts in terms of speed and maneuverability. She's equipped with twin auto-reloading assault cannons. These are the most advanced sticks on the market, giving you hair-trigger control over movement and firing. She has state-of-the-art servos and actuators throughout her chassis, allowing her to cope with any terrain. Pretty cool, right? Okay, time to get you on board, I think. Let's get her in position. I'm just going to call in a drone to lift you into the rig. <coughs> ah, here it comes now. Are you sitting comfortably? Great, then let's power up your heads up display so we can get started. You're up and running. We're going to start by aligning your rig's aiming lasers. Entering calibration mode now. Turn your head to aim your lasers at the center of the target until it lights up. Good. Next position now. Yep, that's good. Yep. Okay, everything's looking good on my end. Now it's time to have some fun. Let's move on to some target practice. I'm loading the target range. rig has two weapons. You can fire just one at a time or both together. Fire your right weapon now and destroy these targets. Great! Now take out these targets with your left weapon. Oh yes! Remember you can fire both weapons at the same time. Squeeze those triggers. Good job! Watch the ammo counters at the sides of your HUD. Your weapons will reload automatically when not firing. Alright, good. Let's get back to reality. Next, I'll remove your rig's rotation lock and we'll practice turning your rig about. Here's the drone again. Same deal as before, but this time, your rig will turn to face the drone as you look toward it. Keep your aiming lasers trained on the target.
Okay, to the left. Gently does it. Over to the right now. Back to center. Good stuff. Now, let's get your eye in with some more target practice. Loading the range again. That was head turning, where your rig automatically steers in the direction to which you are looking. Your rig has an alternate control method, where you manually turn using the right stick. Would you like to try this manual method of turning, or carry on with the head mode? Okay, I've switched your control style over. I don't the drone's like back. Use the, the right turning. stick to turn to face it. Okay, to the left. to the right now. Good. Nearly done. Good stuff. Here's the target range again. Take down all the targets now. to continue using this method of turning or go back to the head turn method. Very good. You can change your control style in your options menu at any time. Now it's time to stretch those servos. Turn to face the exit door.
thought I'd join you in another hunter rig. I'll be running the course with you, demonstrating some of the exercises and keeping you company. Okay, unlocking your leg servos now. Follow me. We'll be at a reduced speed until we get into the arena. We run routine diagnostics on various rig chassis in here. Check it out. Meet me on the elevator when you're ready. The Tempest. Vertical takeoff and the ability to hover make this an ideal tactical option. This is our test arena, where we'll carry out the rest of your training. You'll be able to return here later to try out new rigs. I'm initializing your tracking system. There's a radar and a map version. You can toggle between them in the options menu. Once we start moving about the arena, you may want to try the alternate steering method. You can do that in your options menu as well. Okay, here we are. I'll be spawning in pickups and targets for you to collect and destroy. Let's start with something basic. I've spawned a handful of pickups around the arena floor. Go hunt them down now. I've locked your jump capability for the time being. Tunnels are only accessible by the Hunter and Tempest rig classes. Use them for cover to make sneak attacks or take shortcuts around the arena. Use your radar to locate the pickups if you can't find them. Good. Okay, here's the next round of pickups. I've added some targets to the mix as well. Shoot them down. You can use your rig's melee attack for a small burst of speed. Just press R3. Job. Now I'll unlock your rig's jump capability. Here's the next round of pickups. You'll have to jump to get these pickups, or you can shoot the targets instead if you prefer. If you jump from a ramp, your rig will pick up some extra height. You can use your melee boost in the air to gain some extra distance with your jumps. Excellent. I've unlocked your dodge capability. Give it a try. Come over to me and we'll continue. Now we'll go over something very important. Your rig's power modes. 
Your rig features a power distribution system, which allows you to instantly change between turbo yeah, mode, impact mode, or to repair mode. Turbo mode increases the movement speed of your rig. I can. Impact <laughs> mode increases the Welcome offensive back, power baby. of your weapons, and repair mode engages your auto repair <laughs> systems. Give it a try. You're being such a jealous little thing today. Taking down three opponents will automatically engage overdrive for a short time. When it's in what? overdrive, all three power modes are active simultaneously. I th oh. I thought it said it's hard. Switch to impact mode to deal more damage with your weapons. Arco Knight. Gotcha, yeah. You can use your turbo mode to chase me down. You've taken some damage. Heal up your rig with your repair power mode. You're in overdrive. All your power modes are active. Make the most of it. We'll continue fighting until your overdrive runs out. Nice going. Okay, stand down. You'll have noticed that when a rig is taken down, the pilot is ejected into the air. I wasn't able to take you down in our little skirmish, so I still need to teach you how to relaunch into the arena after ejecting from your rig. I'm going to force eject you from your rig now. Here we go. To deploy back into the arena, Highlight a relaunch point on the map using your left stick, then press cross to confirm. The map will also show tactical information like the location of your teammates, visible opponents, and game-specific objectives. There you go. By default, your rig masks your view as you eject and redeploy, but I want to show you what it's like without the mask on. Okay, here we go. Deploy, turn your head towards a relaunch point on the ground, then press cross to confirm. Mask turned off. All right. You can customize your rig's comfort settings in your options menu at any time. All right, that wraps up our training. You're ready to fight in the arenas. I've put the arena into practice mode. It'll be like this whenever you return from now on. Meet me back on the elevator when you're ready to leave. Did good, champ. Look forward to seeing you in a real match. <laughs> so, how you doing, Eric? The 
these Apex rigs are faster and more agile. You'll manage every aspect of your MCL to be up from right here. So let's take a brief tour of the facility. They are more fragile. In front of you there is the rig density armor panel. This is where you choose the rig you're going to use. Now, look down at I'm the tablet good. just relaxing and doing this some marking. This is your interface for everything. Oh, yeah? You'll be using cool. it a lot to further your career. The rigs you can see on the tablet are the basic rigs, including the Hunter you've just taken out for a spin. There are four classes of rigs, and you can select each one from this screen. Why don't you try changing your class now? which changes how it handles and performs. If you'd like, you can take your currently active rig into the test arena to get used to its special movement abilities. These are just the basic rigs. If you scroll up, you see that there are more advanced rigs, each with a specific weapon loadout and special ability. You'll need these to be competitive. Pretty. Hunter is what I was just in. I like SN1000. Yeah, I do too. SN1000. That was the Hunter that I was in earlier. That's what- that's the one from the- uh, the demo? And then this is the hover slash fly, fly one. That thing can have a fly. One thousand. Voice person doesn't understand numbers. What? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Kitten. Come on. <laughs> you goober. <laughs> You're such a goober. Um, <laughs> come on, you. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, oh, I love you, baby. Um, can I have my hand back, please? Bow. <laughs> um, bow. Eh, eh, eh. Um. I can't push the X button, bell. I need my hand back. Stop hurt. No, no, don't stop purring. <laughs> I'm having technical difficulties. Help. <laughs> bell is hugging my arm. <laughs> Ah, uh, here we go. More powerful than the basic rigs, but you'll have to earn credits to purchase them. To get you started, we've deposited some in your account. When you're ready, pick your first rig. Remember, you can always try out each of the classes using the basic rigs before you commit. That's the vampire ones. I think. What kind of guns are those? Um, oh. yes, baby girl. Yes, baby girl. Real gun and a beam weapon. Brad. I'd like to try you out first. Can I try you out? Plasma accelerator. Ooh. That sounds cool. Railgun for when you want to blow out someone's inside it. Insides. <laughs> <laughs> Warhead heavy machine gun. Um I think you can actually change the weapons too. 
Oh dear, the like penetration and a massive bore. Uh, oh, check that out. Smart missile impulse cannon. Oh, come on, it's a cheerleader. Come on, what does it look like? Oh, it's a hunter. Doesn't look very cheerleaderish to me. <laughs> Bullseye. No, no, no. I don't want to buy you. This is the one that you got in the demo. But the weapons are different. I think those are the starting weapons. I know you should be able to uh, customize them. Yeah, look, those are impulse launchers, impulse cannon, impulse cannon, impulse cannon, warhead, impulse cannon, impulse cannon, real gun. Well, it did give you the nine lives, but it was a different color. Yeah, it was the nine lives, but it was that color. Huh, weird. Anyway, um, hmm. Oh, these are f test rigs. Okay, I can test them out. Well, let's give them, this one a shot, huh? Hold the cross button. I think I might go with the uh, bluish one. The bluish green. The Sentinel. Boop. <laughs> this monster packs a mean melee attack and can soak up a lot of damage. Despite its size, the Sentinel is capable of an extremely powerful vertical jump. Ooh. To use it, press and hold your jump button to charge, then release. Okay. The longer you charge the jump, the higher you'll go. If you charge your jump to its max, the Sentinel will cause a shock wave when it impacts with oh, the ground. Oh, kitten. You bit me. Come on, baby. <laughs> I know you're biting me, but it, it, it's not hurting. <laughs>
this ability. I mean, it's okay. But... I have no idea how to get that one. It just likes to make my stomach turn. I can't get that. Whatever. Oh, okay. I figured it out. You don't have to sit still. You gotta get used to it. Yeah. You don't have to sit, stand still to jump. It's just hard to turn and hold the... See, um... If you're not using the head to turn, it's kind of hard to maneuver with it. I just don't like the head movement controls, but not much you can do about that. That's just how this mech operates.
are just the basic rigs. If you scroll up, you see that there are more advanced rigs, each with a specific weapon loadout and special ability. You'll need these to be competitive. All of these rigs are more powerful than the basic rigs, but you'll have to earn credits to purchase them. To get you started, we've deposited some in your account. When you're ready, pick your first rig. Remember, you can always try out each of the classes oh, using the basic rigs before you commit. No ability. These have abilities. Vampire taking down an opponent restores the rig's armor. Carapace? Carapace. Creates a shield on the back that stops all attacks other than melee. Nuke. Oh, that's cool. Critical mass. Injury time. You still there, Eric? I might get all of these mechs at some point. Um... Should I go for that one? Actually, let's test the, um... I know what that one does. Let's try that one. I'm gonna go for the engineer because it's a healer. I like healing. The Tempest. The Tempest's primary ability is to boost up and glide around in the air giving it a real advantage in any outdoor situation. To get in the air as a Tempest, press and hold your jump button. Your Tempest will accelerate upward until you let go, or after maximum height is reached. While in the air, you can glide around using the movement controls. To disengage your engines and drop out of the air, tap your jump button.
Okay, I kind of like the angel. Or the tempest. just the basic rigs. If you scroll up, you see that there are more advanced rigs, each with a specific weapon loadout and special ability. You'll need these to be competitive. All of these rigs are more powerful than the basic rigs, but you'll have to earn credits to purchase them. To get you started, we've deposited some in your account. When you're ready, pick your first rig. Remember, you can always try out each of the classes using the basic rigs before you commit. Yeah, that one's just slightly armored. class rig equipped with the engineer ability and a robust weapon loadout comprising the smart missile launcher and impulse cannon. When you've seen enough, tap R1 to turn to the online lobby area. Okay, this is the online lobby area. From here, you'll arrange online fixtures and invite friends to join your team. If you look up from the screen, you'll see a holographic representation of yourself. Say hi. The empty spaces next to you will be filled by teammates and opposition pilots when arranging matches. We can go into more detail later. When you're ready, tap R1 again to turn round to the HQ area. So, you'll come here to customize your appearance and sign sponsorship deals. You can also test your skills in the solo trials, or admire your collection of silverware. Take a look at the tablet. I've only made the customize option available for now. Press the cross button to activate it and we'll set you up. I expect that you'll be wanting to rub it in when you're the most valuable player in a match. Let's select your podium celebration to show off your moves. This is just one of the ways. Right now, there's only one podium celebration available. Go ahead and select it. You'll... Great. You can return to check out the other customize options another time. Now, let's turn to the offline area. Tap R1 when you're ready. This is where you come to arrange offline matches. Let's sign you up with a team to begin your career. Have a browse and choose one you like the look of. <laughs> Highlight the team you want to join and hold the cross button. You can switch teams later if you want to, but that will reset you to the lowest league.
assigned to a team, you're going to need some co-pilots to help you out. We have test pilots on our books who will play for your team at no cost. Expert pilots can be hired for a cut of your team winnings, and the amount they charge reflects their level of skill. Let's recruit a couple of test pilots to your team now. Look up from the screen and turn your head to center either of the empty pilot positions in your view. These pilot positions are called focus points. Tap the triangle button to activate one while it's highlighted. To select the pilot's focus point, turn your head to center it in your view. When you see the prompt, press the triangle button. Available pilots are now displayed on the tablet. Right now, it's only the test pilots. Cycle through them, paying attention to their stats and the rig they will be piloting. When you've found one you'd like on your team, highlight them and hold the cross button to sign them up. Nice! The team's starting to take shape. Let's fill the other empty position to complete the team. Choose a second test pilot, same as before. Now you have your team selected, I think it's time to test your skills in an offline match. Press the cross button to see who you're up against. Time for your first taste of the major leagues. Every win or draw earns points to move you up the table. Finish the season at the top and you win promotion to a higher league. You'll also see what type of match you're about to play, and can check out the rulebook if you're unfamiliar with how the sport is played. This one should be a lot of fun. When you're ready, hold the cross button to start the match. This is Team Takedown. In this sport, two teams of three take each other on in destructive combat. The rules are simple. Take down an opposition rig to earn a point for your team. At full time, the team with the highest score wins. When a rig is taken down, it releases power spheres. These can be collected by anyone to charge their overdrive gauge. Ejected pilots can choose to launch their rig at any of the arena's relaunch points. If the match is a tie at full time, extra time is played. In extra time, the match is won when an entire team has been eliminated. Extra time is played out with sudden death rules, so there are no relaunches. If there is still a tie at the end of extra time, then the first takedown of the match determines the winner. You can earn additional personal points by assisting a teammate in taking down an opponent.
Let's see how my team does with two babies and a quick a flyer and a healer. Oh wow, look at this thing. High pressure access point. Me. Okay. More of that. Hello. <laughs> Me. these weapons. The simple truth is, we're behind, and we need to turn it round. Overdrive, now show them what you've got. Hang on to your seats, folks. The action is far from over. Overdrive done for now. Stand by. 
You're active. Take down. Rig eject interrupted due to obstruction. Project interrupted due to obstruction. You're up. Go. than anyone else all game. <laughs> and here's our amazing MVP. Monica. It's okay, it's only your first match and there are plenty more to play this season. So let's aim to get points on the board next time. After today's result, we lost some ground to the league leaders. the top five pilots competing for the Top Gun Award, but that could change with a few good results. You're quickly becoming a fan favorite. Your fame is growing, which will make it easier to attract more experienced pilots. It's good to get the first one under your belt. It turns out you've caught the eye of some major brands, and they're hoping to sponsor you. Let's head round to the HQ to see what they're offering. Tap L1 to turn when you're ready. Sponsorships are a great way to earn extra credits, fame, and customization items. All you need to do is complete the challenge set out in each sponsorship deal. New deals provide the most rewards as you'll earn a special first-time bonus if you complete them. I've just activated the Sponsors menu on the screen. Highlight it now and press the cross button to... You have sponsorship challenges for your online and offline careers. You can change them at any time. Be aware, though, you'll lose all progress if you swap a challenge before it has been completed. Let's choose a sponsor challenge for online matches first. Highlight the online... Sp have a look at the available contracts. Each has its own set of challenges and rewards. When you find one you're interested in, hold the cross button. Excellent! Let's do the same for offline matches. These are the offline contracts. Remember, hold the cross button to sign the deal. Great! Now remember, each first completion will give you a bonus reward, so consider signing a new sponsorship deal after you've completed the challenge. Of course, you're welcome to keep a previously completed challenge active, but the reward will be smaller. 
If you want a different experience and the chance to earn some fantastic rewards, visit the Trials section of the HQ. These will test your abilities whatever your level, and are a great way of developing your skills and boosting your celebrity status. And that's the basics covered. You now have unrestricted access to the headquarters and can navigate to different areas using either L1 or R1. I'll be on hand to talk you through anything we didn't cover during the orientation tour, but for now, let's start winning some matches.
play matchmade one versus one matches with your hired pilots. You can take the opportunity to change them before you begin. There are a number of different sports in the mechanized combat league. You can check out how each of them is played in the rulebook. You can invite friends to join your team in division matches by selecting the empty player positions. We'll fill them for you if they're left empty. Only division matches count towards your division progress.
Alright, well, I'm gonna pause this for a bit and then come back later. <laughs>